What is up, everybody? Back with another pair of low heat. Uh, this time it's not mine. This time it's the ladies. She hit on the sneakers app uh, shock drop. I was a little late to the, you know, she she saw it, went ahead, entered herself, and then casually strolled in here. And uh, they were all sold out already. But that's okay. I think, um, I mean, we'll see. We'll find out when I look at these. But I think I would have got these to mainly to maybe flip. Uh, I didn't, like, love, love these, so... Um, it's okay that I missed out. She wanted them, so I'm glad she got them. Uh, but let's take a look at these. Before I unveil them, please, you know, like, subscribe, uh, do all the things, comment below. I'd really appreciate it. Small YouTube content creator, so I notice every subscriber I get. Um, for the comments, drop a comment of what you would like me to, any other types of other content, videos, rankings etc streetwear that you'd like to see me do because I, I got a little more free time might do some more videos that aren't just new product unboxings that gets a little pricey um so yeah let me know if you want to see any other type of content but for now we have as you can see by the thumbnail and by what's in the video uh we have the nike air force one low sp special projects uh the cactus plant flea market air force ones and uh, she got the white color off the sneakers app. I think the the website website exclusives were those that that kind of like yellowish green colorway, the bright purple fuchsia colorway, and then later on they had the white and the black also. And the sneakers app only got I think the white and the black. But as you can see, custom outside box done in Cynthia Lou's kind of font, cactus plant flea market font, as you can see here. Um, She's the owner of the brand. Uh, I have copped a couple things from Cactus Plant Flea Market in the past, mainly merch um, and some t-shirts, but I also at one point, one of my biggest cops, and one of my more regrettable, it's not my top regrettable sell, but one of my most regrettable sells, I hit on the CPFM Vapor Maxes, and uh, I sold those, made, made decent money, brand new, and uh, I kind of regret selling them. They were so wild. They were so cool looking. I think, you know, of all the Vapor Maxes, there's only been like a handful that have stuck through to this day because they were hot when the, that model first released. And then they had a few collabs. The three off-white ones and then the Cactus Plant Flea Market ones. And those are really, that's the really the, the bangers of the Vapor Max line. And I had them. I got lucky and I sold them to round two. In Hollywood and uh, so yeah so sweet dust bag comes with this I mean that alone Nike Air Force One the yin yang sign Nike uh, patch just do it drawstring there that's cool kind of like a shoestring drawstring terry cloth dust bag that's 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 pretty dope that is pretty dope custom paper on the inside man now i'm thinking about those uh, cactus plant flea market vapor maxes yeah again I, I made some good money off them but like i i kind of wish i had those in the collection still even though vapor maxes aren't as cool that shoe alone that shoe by itself best vapor max they ever released Woo! crispy white crispy white and what's weird is like when you see pictures of these uh they don't really look like an air force one because this, the, you know, the the leather graphic takes up so much space, and it just kind of makes the shape go look more tapered. It accentuates the tapered nature to this this silhouette. But as you can see, it's just a normal Air Force One. But for whatever reason, trick of the eyes, this air um, uh, design makes it look like it's like a taller. It's, it sits taller. It's almost like a mid, but it's not. Um, maybe to you people, maybe you think I'm like bugging, but I, I don't know. For me, uh, that's what it looks like to me. And this is definitely modeled after no extra, well, there's extra laces, but they're in the shoe. Uh, these are modeled, if you don't know, I'm sure you do, uh, the more air up tempo model, basketball model, the air on the side of those you know, 90s basketball shoes that Scottie Pippen wore and some others wore those as well. Um, I really like the classic, more air up tempo. I don't love the deviations on it as much. Like, this is cool, but, um, 
yeah, I'm also not an Air Force One guy, really. Uh, I do have a few pairs. You've probably seen some unboxing videos, maybe. Maybe not. Um, but the pairs that I have, I like. And uh, that's about it. On the on the left shoe, you see Sunshine in, th in theme with Cactus Plant Flea Market. And I think, yes, on the outside, outlined in the lettering, the, the stitched leather pat panels is uh, some three reflective, you know, 3M base layer uh, that will ma really make these letters pop uh, when the light hits them in the dark. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of dope. Now I have heard, I was listening to a podcast today, the Store Credit Podcast by uh, Syndicate in LA, and they were talking about how the leather on this really creases up. And you can look at this in the box, haven't even been worn and you can see it's already like getting ready to buckle and stuff. So if that's a big deal to you, I maybe wouldn't pay resale. What's resale currently at? Uh, resale is actually, it's kind of crazy. In this like lower sneaker market and economy, these are actually going for over retail by, you know, 25%. These retailed, I think, for 150 um, you know, normally uh, Air Force One's like, what, 110 120 So 150 and uh, I think was the retail price on these. And these are going for over 200 in most sizes are going for over 200 So that's pretty good. And all colorways too. So kind of surprised that these are that popular. Like so much stuff sits, goes on sale, or resells for about the same as retail these days. I'm kind of surprised that these um, are all selling for above. Now definitely the white and black are super wearable, but even the purple and the green are reselling for a lot. Maybe just because, you know, the silhouette's wearable. Um and the funky colors if you want them you want them on the inside you kind of got the heat the topographic heat map there left uh, l and r left and right that's kind of cool also uh, of note the ankle liner is leather it's not the nylon or or cotton that you sometimes get with most shoes it is leather so it is more of a premium shoe plus you got the bonus leather patch uh, panels of the letters on the side and you get this, uh, you know, the dope dust bag that we showed. So, uh, worth the higher retail price, in my opinion. <laughs> but, yeah, if 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 uh, if uh, leather creasing bothers you, maybe don't pay resale or much above resale, uh, or avoid these altogether. Uh, yeah. So that's a warning, and you can already see there. If if you don't mind it though, and you like the brand, like this collab, go for it. it comes with extra pair of laces. It looks like same. Uh, Slightly different. This is, you can see more woven. This is a tighter, tighter weave on this. Uh, thicker, thicker weave on those. Uh, yeah. So these are really, these are really dope. Uh, sunshine wraps around the whole foot on this. Obviously more letters. Here you only have air on the right. Uh, let's give these a rating. I can't try them on for you, unfortunately. Um, this is a shoe that I do like. So for me... That like is seven, one that I would buy and wear. I don't know how much, we'll give it a little above a seven because it's like um, a collab. There's some interesting, interesting features about them with the insoles and I like the reflective paneling, um, kind of taking the design cues of, of the more air up tempo, blending it with their font, CPFM's font, uh, with the big bubble lettering. Uh, so yeah. Let's let's give these a 7.25. I don't want to go crazy because uh, while I would wear this white pair, uh, I'd probably wear all the pairs except the black. I'd wear the green. I'd wear the even the purple. The green and, and, the, and the white ones are my favorites, uh, personally. Um, it's not something I'm dying for uh, or super bummed that I missed out on. So, yeah, 7.25 out of 10 for me on these. Let me know in the comments if you were able, lucky enough to cop. I have yet to cop anything off of Cactus Plants website raffle. I mean, I think the bots and there's so many entries. It, like, let me know in the comments if you hit these or anything off the Cactus Plant Flea Market uh, raffles when they do shoe drops. Um, I'd like to know if it actually happens to anyone. But yeah, really like these. Please like, comment, subscribe, uh, and we'll be back uh, shortly with the next one.